at that at the risk of that uh, this is a important enough election that I will repeat a few items and as uh, Councilwoman Hasselbrink said you know there's there's a fear that that the state is just going to by mandate by by actually almost like fiat grab raise the sales taxes under the guise of COVID now a lot of you are saying oh there's no way that can happen I, I own apartment buildings for, for a living and manage apartment buildings the state has given away my rent I, I don't know how it's legal how they did it but some unauthorized group that runs the scheduling of the Supreme Court of the state of California decided that people really don't have to pay the rent if they're being affected by COVID and if you're breathing you're being affected by COVID so it's a pretty liberal statute um, it's also been mentioned that that some of the mentioning of cutting police and cutting other things are scare tactics you know a fifth grader could figure out what words are important here that are going to get people's attention it didn't take a city survey to figure that out uh, we all knew what the problems were the state mandates have just kept piling up we've done a better job than most of the other cities who had to dip in for the sales tax four or even two years ago uh, makes me feel that we've uh, done the cuts mark talked about and chet talked about you know going from 75 to 50 and then in the face of the pandemic cutting another 19. Uh, there is nothing really left to cut that we're not going to start seeing the immediate impact i mean you know in in this city if somebody breaks into two cars we hear about it uh, we're we're going to look at much worse than that if we if we can't afford to keep the police department we have now chief you're doing a phenomenal job with the open positions and keeping the city covered and thank you very much the um, eight years ago i was elected uh, I, I ran for election with the idea that being a lifelong cpa i could i could help to see with their financial matters I made the following promises. I promised not to take any campaign contributions. I promised to spend the city's money with the same care as I spend my own. And my wife will tell you I'm cheap. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to think for the most part, I've kept those promises. In the last eight years, as we talked about, employees have been cut really from now, if you look at the big picture, they've gone from 75 to 31. Uh, which is a dramatic increase we have the most phenomenal staff that is doing two and three jobs a piece and, and keeping the city going uh, our city salaries are among the lowest in the county and every major position in our city city manager police chief all those are at least 25 percent below the county average most importantly I promised you I tell you the truth no matter how ugly I'd like to think that over the years I've demonstrated the ability to sift through the fluff and boil each issue down to the basics. So let's get down to the basics of Measure Y. To paraphrase Bill Clinton, why, why? Um, and the answer is, without a doubt, we cannot continue on the fiscal road we're on. We are going to, we are at a fork in the road. The only question for the voters is which way are we going? Uh, and that's pretty much a, a simple choice I, I won't repeat all the negatives all the negative things that, that we we'll, we'll need to do with measure Y fails but we'll remind you that the things that make up public safety including the police department but also public works and keeping our children both safe and busy make up over 75 percent of our budget so if you were to vote against the measure you know where the cuts will come from there's only so many places we spend money on the city uh, I agree with uh, Councilwoman Hasselbrink again that uh, her goal that we want to be the place where your grandchildren come to settle down. I think we can all agree that Los Al is a great place to live. This year, because of the pandemic, we've had a small glimpse of what life is like without the race on the base, an open Fourth of July celebration, winter wonderland, and many other events, classes, and gatherings that make us a community. This is why after a year-long analysis of our finances, we are recommending that a sales tax increase is the best solution. I ask you to join me in voting yes on why, and for a few, for a couple hundred dollars per family, let's keep Los Al the special place we all love.
Thank you.